You talk about you talk about the disappointing um, numbers that have been posted by the container line. You talk about measures that are going to be taken to deal with that. Uh, can you just give us a bit more detail on what those measures actually include? Yeah, so so uh, clearly in our in our ocean segment we have a we have a cost problem and it's and uh, and we have too much uh, capacity. We need to take capacity out in order to get our unit cost down. Um, and how's that actually going to work and how quickly is that going to work? That, that is actually something we can do uh, fairly quickly. We have, uh, you know, we're operating 750 ships in a, in a global network. About half of them are leased. Uh, the half of them are owned. So we have quite some flexibility in terms of facing uh, capacity in and out. Um, okay, so you're going to drop some capacity out of the market. What is happening more broadly in terms of global trade? Are you are always an interesting indicator as to what is happening. The financial markets are a little worried that global trade uh, is rolling off, and that's going to have an impact on this kind of synchronized global growth story uh, that so many people got excited about earlier on this year. What are you seeing, Soren? So we, we saw global trade grow somewhere between 3 and 4% in the first uh, quarter in volume terms. Uh, and that's, that's broadly in line with uh, you, you know, the growth that we have seen in, in the last uh, three, four, four years. So, so I don't think we can say at this point that we see global trade coming off because of trade tensions or, or anything uh, like that. Uh, obviously, sentiment uh, is impacted by the negotiations uh, between the U.S. And, and China in particular on, on trade deals, and, and that, that will have uh, probably also a longer-term effect if, if, if it's not resolved quickly. Soren, just hold that thought for a moment. I just want to alert our audience to some pictures that we're watching on the screen now with uh, the, the French president, uh, the British prime minister and the German chancellor uh, walking in Sofia this morning. Uh, they had dinner last night. They talked a lot about the Iran trade deal uh, and uh, whether or not European companies would be protected uh, as a result of the arrival of US sanctions. The German chancellor answering a few questions. I wonder whether those, some, some of those questions will be about that. Soren, um, what are the risks of doing business with Iran now? I, uh, can we get reinsurance? Can ships actually operate in that space now? Uh, would you feel protected if European leaders turned around and said, you know what, we've got your back? I, I think that if the, the, uh, the US uh, imposed the sanctions as it looks uh, now, then it would be impossible for... For, for any, any any global shipping line that do business in the U.S. to actually serve the Iranian market. Do you see this becoming a, a bigger problem? Do you see... I, it, it does seem as if we are seeing sanctions, we are seeing trade tensions rising. I, what is your read? We were just talking about this uh, on set here. The U.S. authorities seem to come out hard, swinging hard when they talk about trade and then back down a little bit. What's your read of the situation? <laughs> Well, well, clearly, the, 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 if we go back a decade and two decades in particular, the, the world was generally on a path of liberalizing, liberalizing trade, and you saw more and more trade deals. You saw China uh, join the WTO and so on. And, and today we are on a different path, certainly not one where there's a lot, lot of new deals being signed, and, and maybe some will even be reversed. So, uh, so we think that is a very unfortunate development. It's a very, very strong case for, for, for global trade making all of us uh, richer but it's also a fact that uh, that uh, that the US in particular have some very large trade imbalances and and in some cases are not being fairly treated in in uh, our markets outside the US so so we we hope and expect that over time people will be able to to come to new agreements that make sense for everybody Soren when are you going to get a CFO <laughs> Hopefully soon, I'd say. Well, we are in the middle of the recruiting, and, 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 and I expect that we will be able to announce something soon. Great stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Soren Skoll, the Mask CEO.